I'm Lance, the install guy. Ranch Hand has built the ultimate bumper. And today on Enhance Your Ride, I'm here to give you my take on it. First thing I noticed about this bumper that was different from the old bumpers, the summits and the legends, is the fact of the distance between the vehicle and the grill guard part itself. That distance is very important because of the fact that a normal ranch hand is, is fairly aerodynamic to the vehicle, so it's really close. So in any collision, of course, if it does bend, it's gonna hit the vehicle. This one, you'll never flex it that far. I mean, you'd have to hit a building. The coolest features about this bumper to me was the fact that it's all midnight bumpers are winch ready. They're winch capable. That means you may not want a winch right now, but six months down the road, you may need a winch. And you're just like, if you had a summit or a legend that wasn't winch ready, you'd have to change your bumper. This one, you just change some mounts and you're done. If you're like me, I love lights. I love LED lights. I love being able to see what I want to see, where I want to see it. And this bumper has so many light mounting options, it's crazy. I mean, there's so many options on this bumper. I went with three sets of cubes on here and two 30 inch light bars. And all the cubes have the DRL lights in them, the daytime running lights. So you can run early morning, fog. You know, those are good options I have. Though the DRLs are street legal where the, the light bars are off-road lights. The reason why I didn't go with a full-length bar in the bottom and I went with two cubes on the end is to give it a radius. So your light comes in a radius with the bumper, right? If you just put one light bar in there, you're gonna have a void space between your light. This gives you crystal clear lighting with no gaps. There's nowhere to mount that. I drilled the holes myself and it's all custom. <laughs> I love the option you get with the removable mesh. If you decide not to run a light bar, you can put the mesh in. If you were worried if your light bar was gonna get hit by anything, you could put the mesh in front of it to protect it, just like you can do on the sides. And in the middle of the grill guard, the mesh is removable in case you have a front camera. That way you don't have to cut anything or modify anything. You just unbolt the mesh and it's out of the way. Historically, Ranch Hand's always been gloss black, but with this new Midnight series, that's one thing I love about it, it's the matte black finish. Matte black's where it's at. <laughs> matte black is in right now, so this finish is awesome. It's got so many options as far as, you know, you could paint this thing to match your vehicle if you wanted to. There's only one negative thing I gotta say about this Ranch Hand Midnight Series bumper. It's not on your truck. 